Hi everyone and welcome to the spring of Series 13 in Forza Horizon 5. We'll kick off this season with PR stunts, the treasure hunt, photo challenge and collectibles. And the first one to do for us is the Desert Descent uh, Trailblazer, which needs to be done in Land Rover car in A class with 12 seconds to spare. Now, this is extremely relaxed time. It's very very easy to beat. I would be surprised if you actually do have a challenge with it but if you do well just follow the guide. The car of choice for me is the Range Rover Sport SVR and it's running with a tune by Gritted Dust 8. If you've seen uh, the very beginning of the video you can notice that I didn't use any run up at all because it really is not necessary. What you want to do when you start the trailblazer is to immediately lean to the right that way you're gonna land on the more level surface and don't have to jump and don't have a risk of rolling over and things like that and you can actually descend from the mountain really gracefully and then you lean a little bit to the left to avoid some rocks and from there you just drive straight to the destination as you can see we are nearly there and there's 40 seconds on the timer you can make it much much faster if you're ready to risk or rewind a few times but really this is just very very easy so off we go to the second trailblazer this time over the dune trailblazer again a super long one and this needs to be done in jaguar car as well in a class and with eight seconds to go now uh, again as no reason for haste we are using a little bit of a runner but we really don't need it once you enter the gates of the trailblazer instead of going straight towards the destination i suggest going a little bit to the right like i'm doing this way you're gonna again use the more level surface won't waste time on jumping and uh, potentially rolling from the bad landing and uh, what you want to do is get as fast as you can to the beach because the beach provides you with a absolutely straight surface and a straight line to the destination if you try to drive immediately to the destination from uh, the beginning you'll have to go through a lot of rocks again a lot of hills a lot of jumps and that is not super pleasant experience we are running the jaguar f pace as you can see pretty much all of this trailblazer is off-road and you would prefer an off-roady car i've seen some people driving really sporty jaguars uh, through it as i was preparing for the video but um i don't know it's uh, it's more than doable uh, there's plenty of time but just why get into the 4x4 and uh, enjoy it now we are on the beach and as you can see we have what a minute to go to the limit and we can already see the finishing line the destination again this is not even a fastest run you can really save heaps of time there and optimize the tune but uh, what i suggest works really well so 40 seconds to go versus eight seconds requirement really easy now onto the drift zone which is the final pr stunt for this week that's the reservoir drift zone which needs to be done in tvr car in s1 class so i'm driving this tvr griffith without any tune it's absolute stock configuration and that's really all you need it's already s1 class it's a reasonably powerful rear wheel drive so it kind of drifts naturally now to make your life really easy set your settings correctly what you want is traction control off your stability control off and ideally the car should be set to manual shifting if that sounds scary for you don't worry you can revert that back after you're done with the drift zone but believe me this makes it really really easy to get past it so once you set your settings you put your car in a second gear and you start driving and the moment you start steering the car will drift naturally if you feel you're going too fast or 
uh, you are spinning out and losing control just lift off the gas or start braking slow down a little bit and the car will correct itself absolutely naturally as you can see we had the required 120k points by about the halfway through the drift zone as i said it's it's so long this drift zone that it's super easy to get the points that are required and by the end of it you'll be easily over the requirement now that's it for the pr stunts themselves let's go over to the treasure hunt and the riddle requires us to complete the airfield speed zone while driving the willys jeep and complete really only means one star so i put up a class uh, tuned by djs and uh, just casually drove through the speed zone you don't need to put any records you don't need ultra powerful s2 tune for this or anything like that just drive casually and as long as you stay above about 100 miles an hour i think on average you would be good to complete the treasure challenge once it's complete the location will be revealed and it's uh, the chest is standing in the plain side on the runway not far from the danger sign so you just fast travel here and accelerate towards it and smash it for quarter million credits now done with the treasure hunt off to the photo challenge which needs to be done in horizon 4 festival site while driving mclaren senna and here is where the festival site is immediately to the south from stadium you've seen the location on the map you drive your senna over to well actually you don't even need to drive to the podium just uh, um, make sure that both the car and the festival site are in the photo take a snapshot and you are done with the photo challenge if you don't have the car don't rush to buy it because uh, you get it for free as a prize for the collectibles which is our next and the last challenge as usual the boards the bonus boards required for the collectible are located all around the festival site so just drive the roads both um, asphalt roads and dirt roads uh, around the uh, festival site and you'll find a lot of them absolutely in the plain side normally by the side of the road or sometimes a little bit deeper like uh, this one you need to go off the road a tiny bit but they're still in plain sight collecting 10 of them would uh, take you about five minutes or so and that is it for today i hope it was useful thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one